So here we have the Mini five-door hatchback on a 15 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the car to run through some controls first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Uh, so you can increase this space further and you can increase it further again by folding this tray section which stores behind those seats just there. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials on the left-hand side. We have the rev counter, we have the speedometer in the middle, and the fuel gauge over on the right-hand side. Also in the middle, you can see the total miles of this car, which are 26,999. You can change the information displayed above that by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various bits of trip computer, fuel economy information, and the digital readout for the speedometer you see being displayed now. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have cruise control, speed limiter, and on the right-hand side, stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after you pair the phone to the car, which is done over on the central screen just here uh, under the telephone heading. And then from there, you would go down to Bluetooth devices, enter that menu and follow the instructions on screen from there. All of the uh, movement that I'm making on the screen is all being done using this dial and the collection of buttons that surround it just here. So you can access your telephone menu, for example, but otherwise the dial will do everything. So if you wanna to listen to the radio, you turn it to radio, push the dial down, you're then in the radio menu where you've got AM, FM, and DAB radio. You can come back out of that to listen to your own music. And again, you've got a number of ways in which you can do that. So you've got USB input, Bluetooth audio, and auxiliary input as well. And this vehicle has got satellite navigation. We've done a video showing how the sat-nav system works, which you can find on our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. Below that, we have the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed from here. You can then determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. And when you're happy with those settings, the air conditioning is on at the minute, so that's off or back on again. Um, we had it on auto when I first started making those adjustments. I can put it back in auto. What will happen then is that the car will take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain those temperatures. And you can override that at any time by pressing the auto button again. You go back to whatever setting you had it on previously. We have a heated rear screen, a proper heated front screen, a heated driver seat and passenger seat, both of which have got three uh, heat settings each. Uh, we can turn our traction control on and off start and stop the engine from here this button turns off the stop and start so this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel the system is turned off when that light shows and we can turn our parking sensors on and off as well we have our auxiliary and usb inputs as well as a 12 volt charging socket the gear lever for the six speed manual gearbox and then this dial just here will enable you to put the car into sport mode mid mode which is your everyday driving and green mode as well and you'll see the color on the outside of the dial will change to match what you're doing. The last thing I wanted to run through in this car are the twin sunroof. So you have sun blinds that will open up manually from the rear and from the front. Obviously you can leave it like that and as you can see that lets in a lot of extra light or you can open this front one as a sliding sunroof over the top of that rear one. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this ULES compliant car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.